not being horny. I want two dicks and some of my pussy, and that's it, you know what I mean? What? What? That was out of, that was out of nowhere, but I feel where you're coming from. I want, because I never had it, so like, you know, two dicks. Are, are you, are... Like, one, it, one, one like, in the back, one in the front? Period, I want a dick in my ass, and I want a dick in my pussy, you know what I mean? And listen to me. I'm gonna be real honest with you right now. This moment came to me in a dream about a month ago. But what about the mount? That's the third hole. It's fucking three holes. Jesus Christ. My three prima. Holes. Hell three yeah. Holes. Three hey. Holes in a bit. Can I be one of them? Period. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Get out. I, 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 I never am. had a threesome. Fuck it up for well, me. Shit, we need two more. Hey, uh, hey. You a nasty ass bitch. And this is the same chick when she gets old and fatter is going to tell you she's a good girl and has only been with a couple guys while she makes you wait and expects you to make six figures. And I think we all know this one in particular is going to expect you to have a horse meat too. Do you know what God's thoughts were after Eve's first bath in the sea? I'll tell you at the end of the video. Tonight I decided to show my feet. That little motherfucker about that pinky always gave me a hard time. And I was asking God, I was like, God, why you make my feet like this? You know, they say it's something wrong with every pretty girl. <laughs> so this is what's wrong with me. It's that little motherfucker right there that didn't grow out. I don't really be tripping because the doctor said they can fix it, but I don't want it fixed because at the end of the day, God made me like this, and I don't want to change it every, every day that they love him. You're gross. What's your longest dry spell? Six months. And your quickest dry spell? What does that mean? Uh, I, I've... Uh, like three days? Oh, the lie detector determined that was a lie. Three days? You're. Wait, I don't get it. What's a dry spell? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> foodie calls is a big thing. I've, I've, I've had a foodie call what? where the girl just went on a date for fucking free food. Yeah, a lot of girls do well, that. Well, listen, I'll, really? I'll tell you like this. Really? I'm not gonna waste my time. Right back at you, bitch. Oh, no, 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 some, a lot some of girls wouldn't, that do but that. some chicks do, and then, and then the you other have, thing. You like, a whole roster. I, I'll let you go. Like, I'm hungry. Let's go here. The the other thing wow, is I have that. A lot of time. <laughs> I just don't want to be a sucker because a lot of people are sleeping and seeing multiple people. So I don't want to be the guy that pays for you, pays for your date, and then you, you go and hang out with your f buddy, who by the way never has paid for you, hmm. and you f him after I just provided for you. That's that's basically like low like uh, a uh, low tier cuck situation. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Where do you think you're going? Vegas. It's a girl's trip. FBI, open up! Bruh. Hi, babe. Hi, you have fun. Hey, look, don't get in any trouble, okay? Everywhere. Everywhere. There's tweakers everywhere. Nice. There's tweakers everywhere. Oh my god, there's tweakers. Would you rather have a broke faithful guy or a rich cheater? Rich cheater, yeah. yeah. You'd rather be cheated on and he just gives you money? Honestly, yes. All I need in life is clothes. You are one pathetic loser. <laughs> Do all the girls out there? I could get you, I just don't want you. Stop the cat. Think you can f handle me? Really? Let's see. Yeah. Now I'm the bossy bitch. If I get in your face like this and <laughs> say, "You sit your fucking ass down now and eat my pussy," I'll drop that motherfucker. Ross, what do women really want? I don't care what they want. I only care what they respond to. See, my focus is a little bit different from your other guests. There's what women say they want, there's what women think they want, and then there's what they actually respond to. I'm not an academic, I'm not a theoretician. I'm interested in what works on the street when it's time to date and mate. And what women actually respond to is not what they say they want. So what do they respond to? They really respond to a guy who's a challenge, a guy who's a question mark, a guy who keeps them guessing. You see, in the beginning, the less attractive you are physically, 
the more you have to rely on your attitude. And that's what I wrote my book for. I wrote my book for the average looking, even ugly guy who goes out there in the real world and tries to be a nice guy, gets his head kicked in. This motherfucker don't miss. No, he's fucking good. That motherfucker don't miss, man. This guy knows what he's talking about. Most of the time, women really don't know what they want. I know we've all heard the saying, but I'll repeat it. You don't ask a fish how to catch fish. You ask a fisherman. Here's the fisherman that really knows how to get women. Oh, you almost had it. you got to be quicker than that. I hit 100 before I did four. So when I was a stripper, I had some friends when I hit 50. They threw me a halfway hoe party. I beg your pardon? At the strip club. That's a full hoe party. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. 50, you're throwing the halfway party. What do you? What planet do you live on? That, that hundred. And that they're throwing parties for them for themselves. Like, what is going on? <sighs> Man, it's crazy out here these days. But think about this: women don't like when you put standards on them about how many men they've slept with. But even women themselves know that being a hoe is a real thing. Apparently, they just think it's not until they hit 100 people. Or maybe 300. So you really dead ass about a dude paying a thousand dollars for a date? Are you serious? On the first night? Mm -hmm. Oh hell no! She probably thinks that because she's probably the girl selling her farts to some simp for a thousand dollars. You serious? Wow. Oh, that's nasty. Hello? Honey? Uh, are you at the club? Yes. <laughs> I'm at the mall now and I found this beautiful leather coat. It's only a thousand. Can I get it? Well, sure, if you like it that much. Okay, um, I also stopped by the Mercedes dealership and found a new model, you know, the one I really like. How liked. much? 120. Well, at that price, I want it with all the options. Great, oh, and, and one more thing, the house we wanted last year is back on the market. They're, they're asking 1.5. We'll make them an offer, but come in at, uh, 1.4. <laughs> okay, I love you, baby. I love you, too. Okay, bye. Um, does anybody know whose phone this is? <laughs> God damn! That is totally inappropriate. That's the best way to please your man. <laughs> She ain't gonna cook or clean for her man, but you know damn well she's one of those ones saying that he has to make six figures and pay for her hair and her nails and all her bills and shoes. They've been poisoned by Disney thinking that they're the prize and the princess. I'm sure this is gonna go well. She's at 80, but it's only going 100 yards, 90 yards. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna fuck you up. Wake up, we're in bed, right? I'm asleep. I wake up, she's on Tinder, texting other guys, sending other guys kissy faces, telling them to add on our Snapchat. That's crazy. While in bed with me. Now, and this is no. this is also why two days ago she told me she loves me, no. right? Shut up, bitch. But she's on Tinder texting other guys after no. she said she loved me. She drove no. down here, right? She lives in Fukuoka. She drove down no. to Iwakuni no. and was matching You're with right. guys in Iwakuni. She matched with a You're motherfucker right. down the hallway. She belongs to the streets. And you know how I know he lives down the hallway? Because I work with him. I have your things. Because you said me. Yuko, I have your things. Please leave. How many of you guys have been in this situation like this where a woman cries when they get called out, when they're crying to try to get out of uh, being held accountable? It is based on what we do. When two men meet, they shake hands and say, what do you do for a living? When two women meet, they shake hands and say, or they give a hug and say, do you have a family? Do you have children? We don't value the same things. Like you said a second ago, 
it's a red flag when a girl asks a guy what he does for money in his career, correct? Why? Because that defines Personally. him. But men don't give a shit what you do most of the time when it comes to courtship and relationships. N not the men that i So that I've proves my point. It. I don't know. That proves <laughs> my point. That men understand that their value is determined by how much money they make. A broke woman can still find a rich man. A broke man is never even going to get looked at by a rich woman. That's the fact, Jack! That's the fact, Jack! All right, so what were God's thoughts when Eve first bathed in the sea? He thought, I'll never get the smell out of these fish. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Have you ever thought about how big of a thing could be accomplished and how easily if enough people came together? Like imagine if 50,000 people each donated a dollar to you. That would have a significant impact for you, and the one dollar would be fairly insignificant to each of those individual 50,000 people. If you're anything like me, you've heard countless creators asking you to like, share, and subscribe. And if you're like me, it just goes in one ear and out the other. None of you watching owe me anything, but I wanted you to know that you have a chance to facilitate a similar situation for me. If you each would subscribe, it would have a significant, helpful impact for me, and it would not take much to make that happen, and I would appreciate it. So thank you, and please consider subscribing.